Well, I get the impression that YouTube is saying, hey, you're using this too much. This will be the third or fourth attempt to deal with this topic. On April the 4th, 1968, our son Roy was on duty in the capital of Washington, D.C. And prior to this time, he'd been to two or three meetings where they trained groups for riot control. And having picked up a couple of stripes, he was second in command under a leader that had higher rank. And uh, as his duty was to have the shotgun, a loaded shotgun with instructions that if the order was given to fire, right there in the classroom, told those boys, then you have to decide if it's a legal order before you actually fire. And I think that's wrong, wrong, wrong. Fortunately, on the day that Mr. King was killed, we called the boys together and they split the team. Took his team leader and six of the boys that would have the fixed bayonets out in front of the shotgun and uh, put them in one place and sent Roy and six of the boys with the fixed bayonets up the hill to guard the chief of naval operations house and nothing big happened up there at all. They toured around the property every so often and kept an eye out for what was going on. And I said, well, Roy, did you see any evidence that there really was rioting in D.C. that night? Oh, yes, Dad. He said the chief's house was on a hill, and when we came around on one side, we could look down and see several blocks on fire. Well, thank God that he was sent to an area where he did not have to ever sit there and sweat, what am I going to do if I'm given the order to pull the trigger? I think it's totally wrong that, well, I'll just put it this way. I took an order, and I think most everybody that joined the service took an order to follow the orders of the commander of chief and all duly appointed officers. And I think that includes non-coms, that if you're given an order, your duty is not to question, but to perform the duty. Shame, shame, shame on our military for letting things get so confused. Shame on our leadership, our civilian leadership, our commander-in-chiefs to let things get so confused that ever an order could be given in training that says if an order is given, you have to decide whether it's legal to follow the order. No, 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 no. Yours, as a soldier, my duty was to follow orders, not to question them. We used to say yours is not to question why, yours is but, but to do or die. Well, we see examples all through our recent histories, at least Korea, Vietnam, and now this mess, where we pick a scapegoat to penalize for doing what the brass, either officially or unofficially, sets as a policy. Now, Sergeant Vela and this Iraqi thing has been sentenced to prison. And what is his crime? His immediate superior told him to shoot a man. He did. And then they try him, they work him over, get him to confess that yes, it was murder. And I guess it's murder if you pull the trigger at short range on a man intending to kill him. But he's not the party that should have been charged. If they're going to charge anybody, they charge the sergeant, the lieutenant, whoever it was that gave the order to him to kill the man. Shame on us.